Hi guys, Melissa here. Um, back with you again today, and I thought that I would just come and share with you. Let's see. Um, share with you some of the stuff I brought home from Kansas, and I have some stuff on my table here. But this, like these pumpkins here, there's two of this color. I haven't taken the tags off yet, and then a white one, which is like behind my door. Uh, my daughter got me these for my birthday. These were from Target. So these are like fuzzy pumpkins. And she got me the one that's on the cake stand right back here. It's kind of like I like green and ivory, like pearlescent. And oh, this giant white one. Can you see that one? Um, it's also on a cake stand. She also got this from Target. Yeah, this was only $14.99 and it's resin. Um, so that's um, the stuff that she gave me. Plus, she found at Target. Or, I'm sorry, I said Target. These little fabric ones came from Target. The other ones came from TJ Maxx. Like this one was only $15 at TJ Maxx. And it's like black and white, just like my kitchen. And she's like, oh my gosh, you need that. And I was like, I do need that. So, and she got me a blue, like an ombre blue one that's in the living room too. But this is glass and I'm like, it is perfect for my kitchen. So I had to have this. Well, <laughs> I'm happy she got me that because she knew I would have to have that. Um, and then for my birthday, she also got me a Target. These were in the dollar section. They're so stupid cute. Um, you've been booed and gone baddie. <laughs> um, so these are cute little Halloween spatulas that she got me. And then she got me the ghost. Um, again, only a dollar. So she got me the ghost to go with the you've been booed. <laughs> and then the one that I asked her for, I'm like, if you find this, I need this. The little bat spatula <laughs> to go with the gone baddie one. I'm like, oh my gosh, I need the cute little bat. <laughs> like, I absolutely love cute little bats. Um, when we went to Disney, um, I think it was Magic, no, Animal Kingdom. <laughs> um, they had fruit bats, like giant fruit bats. They're so cute. <laughs> so I just, I love cute bats. <laughs> so that's the stuff that she got me for my birthday. And then... Um, also for my birthday, Dale, <laughs> um, I love like mermaid stuff, hence why I absolutely, sorry, I was outside painting, so I'm like, <laughs> it was getting cold. <laughs> um, so I just cleaned up all that and I was like, I'm gonna go show my video of stuff before Dale gets home soon. Um, but yeah, I'm painting, I painted my front porch black, like all the trim work in the floor. And then, cause it's just like old, um, dilapidated, just worn, weathered wood um, that the stain has worn off. Actually, the porch, um, they replaced it and never treated it, so some of it's kind of bubbling up a little bit. So I got paint from Lowe's that is weather, like exterior weather um, resistant um, or weatherproof, I don't know, <laughs> um, and it beads up and it's um, resistant to stains and sunlight from fading. So I mean, I did my front porch and now I did part of my back porch. <laughs> so anyways, so Dale got me this um, insulated um, mug from Starbucks and I'm like, yay. So it's got this cute lid. Um, it's my favorite colors. Um, actually, this one's a little bit more green, but it's kind of like on the darker side of um, aqua. It's kind of like a little bit green, but it's so cute. And it has like this texture. I don't know if you can see the texture to the um, to the paint. So it's not real slippery. So got that for my birthday. And so when we were shopping, um, Cassie had a bunch of stuff that she was looking forward to. And I wanted to just check out from all of my adventures, like what the other stores had that our stores don't have. 
Um, so I got these really neat candies from, um, this was TJ Maxx out there in Wichita, Kansas. Um, and this one is $3.49 for just ginger candies. I thought these were pretty cool. Um, so like, I love to have stuff like this on hand. So like whenever you don't feel well, um, just chew on some ginger candies. Like I've gotten, I think they're called chimes from TJ Maxx. And they're just great. Like if you have an upset stomach or something, then you just switch these to like hard candies. Um, I might open it just to see. They're gluten free and all that good stuff. Oh, they're already sealed, so. Oh no, they're chewy, just like chimes. It's like just a chewy candy. That's pretty cool. Although ginger can be a little spicy. Um, I love to have those around just so that <laughs> It, it truly does like um, make your stomach feel better. So you see how I have this obsession here with like aqua colored pumpkins, blue, aqua green, same color family. Um, so at TJ Maxx, I found this um, $7.99. This was, it's a nice wooden sign. It says pumpkins, buy them by the bushel. <laughs> it's my color scheme. So I have to figure out how I'll put that in. Ooh, put that in there and then um, I found this really cool it was only $9.99 at TJ Maxx on um, this neck wrap um, and it's got handles on it so you could do it all the way across your upper back your lower back you know your shoulder blades um, it's designed to provide a soothing gentle weight on neck and shoulders for ultimate relaxation use it cold by storing in the refrigerator or freezer before applying, use it heated by placing it in the microwave for 30 seconds increments, 30 second increments until it reaches the desired warmth. So, um, yeah, I, I'm just super excited about this because I have really bad trouble with my low back and sometimes like I'll get knots in my um, neck and stuff. So I'm like, I love this. And it's this cute like wildflower pattern um, that I thought was really cute. So I got that, um, just figure, and then I got Dale's mom one. Um, it's similar, it's just all pink, um, and it's got like rose petal, dried rose petals and stuff in with like the, the beads or the rice or whatever um, that I thought was really cool. And then, because my, black, my kitchen is now black and white, minus my cupboards, or minus my countertop and my floor, but that costs more than a can of paint. <laughs> um, I found these at TJ Maxx for $9.99. Um, and it's black and white pumpkin. It says, hello pumpkin. And then it's got the two regular um, dish towels that I thought are perfect for my kitchen all year round, plus the, the holiday one. So had to have that and see how it goes with <laughs> my pumpkin and holiday spatulas. <laughs> These are just the cutest things I have. So I thought that was perfect. And then um, at TJ, no, was this TJ Max? No, these were at Ross. Um, I'll get back to TJ Max in a second, but at Ross, I found these amazing, we love Chinese food. Um, and I know how to use chopsticks because Dale taught me how, and he's really good with chopsticks. So we found these noodle bowls. And a lot of times we'll split our Chinese food and stuff, but um, I'm just like gray and white, and then the inside is black and white and slightly different pattern. But I'm like, these are gorgeous with reusable um, chopsticks, and it goes right through the bowl. I thought that was like totally genius. Um, so I had to have these. I thought they were amazing, and they were only $6.99 a piece. And there's ceramic at Ross. I'm like, oh, it's upside down, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, so I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to have these. <laughs> these are super cool. So again, at Ross, $6.99 each. And they go with my whole theme. So I'm like, I've got to have those. It's perfect. You could do spaghetti in those, which I don't normally eat spaghetti like that, but... <laughs> For um, even like making pad thai noodles or something. I just thought they were super cute. 
Um, and then back to TJ Maxx. So you know how I have that like silver, a little bit of um, gold here and there, but a lot of silver and white, some black, but a ton of silver and white. <laughs> Um, Christmas theme. So I found this at TJ Maxx. It's only $14.99 and this is like marble and it says Merry Christmas and I thought it was perfect for my mantle. So I got this. <laughs> I can move out of the way. And it's heavy but it's got the felted bottom. I'm just like oh this is super nice. This will go perfect with my theme but I think I am going to go back and get um, at our TJ Maxx or at our Walmart, um, black metal deer, um, that are little, that would also go with that whole deer theme. And then, um, I kind of have, <laughs> just like I have a pumpkin obsession, I kind of have a Christmas tree <laughs> obsession. And I was like, oh my gosh, either for here or my mantle, this tree is like absolutely amazing and I have to have it. So it's got some glitter on it and it's resin, um, and it was only $7.99 at TJ Maxx up there. They just started putting out their Christmas stuff, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I gotta have this. They were condensing all their Halloween and putting out Christmas. I was like, I have to have that. That totally goes with, with my theme. And I found this beauty. <laughs> this is Rachel Zoe, too. It's $14.99. Look at this fantastic tree. Oh my gosh. And then I've got those white cone trees, too. <gasps> I absolutely love this. Um, it's just kind of like, I don't know, beads, <laughs> um, crystals that they, you know, wired in there. Oh my gosh, I think it's beautiful. I wish they had had a couple different heights, but they only had this height, so I only got the one. But like, even this together, oh, obsessed. <laughs> totally obsessed with that. And yes, I actually brought all this stuff home with me. And then, if you watched any of my um, Scentbird subscription videos, um, well, I don't think I, since I've been doing those videos, I don't think I actually got this in my subscription yet, but I absolutely love Aqualina Pink Sugar Perfume, and I found a body mist at TJ Maxx, and I was like, oh, and this is made in Italy too, it was only $7.99, so let's see, it's made in Italy. Aqualina Pink Sugar. Sorry if I paint on my fingernails. I do right there. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> um, yeah. $7.99 at TJ Maxx. I was like, yes, please. <laughs> it doesn't last as long as perfume, but I love it. Um, and then that was okay. And then my daughter for my birthday too. <laughs> um, I was trying not to be super spendy. <laughs> but my, so I put these back. My daughter grabbed them for my birthday too. They're just gold earrings, like hoop kind of earrings with a acrylic flower. So they're really cute. So she picked those back up and got them for me. Um, and then at Kohl's, I found these really cute bat earrings. I told you I like cute little bats. Um, I was like these like crystal kind of hoop looking earrings. Oh my gosh. Let's see if I can show that. Aren't they cute? Just cute little sparkly bats. <laughs> Nothing scary. Um, so they'll like dangle like that. I thought they were so cute. So I got those. And then um, I went to Bath and Body Works. Oh, they have a Skechers outlet. <laughs> Dale had to go to the... Um, Guitar Center, he always likes to go to those. Right beside it, they have a Skechers outlet. And so my daughter got a pair that were pink, um, kind of like a dusty mauve, um, but they had sparkle thread in the shoes. And then I got these. And um, I think hers were 55, no. Mine were 50, I think mine were 50. No, mine were 55 and hers were 50. Um, and then um, she's like, and you had to buy one to get the other one um, half off. And we're like, hmm. I mean, I don't need to pair, but um, mine are kind of getting holes in the fabric. I've had it forever. 
Um, and so she's like, if I, if you get a pair, I'll get a pair. Um, and then we can split the cost between us. Plus she applied for a credit card and got 10% off. And I was like, okay. So these were literally only $40. And I was like, I'm absolute, I absolutely love Skechers shoes. Um, and my favorite of all time ever are yoga mat. I love ones that you don't have to tie on. They're just slip on. They're perfect for walking. And I love the go walks. Um, I do not like the memory foam. They break down too fast for me and are not as comfortable. My foot slips in the memory foam stuff, but I'm obsessed with the yoga mat ones. So I got the yoga mat ones. Plus these are machine washable. I absolutely love it. So if you ever get a chance to try Skechers with the yoga mat, this one says go, go mat, go, go mat. <laughs> but you know, they're the go walks with the yoga mat, not the um, memory foam. Highly recommend. Highly recommend. Best shoes I've ever owned. And then, um, you guys, we went to Michael's, um, at TJ Maxx. <laughs> you know how, like, with Scentsy, I'm always like, oh, I like, um, black licorice, and people are, have, like, this aversion to it. Well, I found this soap. And I'm hopefully not allergic to it. It's made in England. And it's black licorice scent. And it had this like little skeleton tied on. And it smells really good. Um, I don't see tallow. And that seems to be what I'm, I'm usually allergic to in stores. Um, but it's made in England. Like how cute is that? And it smells lightly like black licorice. I'm like, I have to have this. <laughs> oh, I, I absolutely, I love that. <laughs> so I got that. Um, so this is Michael's. Oh, and my daughter, um, I got these cute little socks too. Where was this? I don't remember where I got these cute little socks though. Um, but they have little elephants on them. I'm like, oh my gosh. I took them off and wore them because it was it was cold in the morning, like 40s, 50s. And then by afternoon it was like 85, 86. I was like, oh. <laughs> so you get cold in the morning. Um, so I tore those part. I don't know. I don't, it wasn't it wasn't TJ Maxx, it might have been Ross. That we got those. They were cheap, like five bucks or something like that. And then at Cassie Zoo, wait, real quick. Um, at Cassie Zoo, I got this soap. Um, it's sassafras soap, and it's um, scratch made soap, purifying clay, cinnamon bark, exfoliating texture, and it has sassafras root in it. And I absolutely love um, homemade soap because I'm not allergic to it because it doesn't have tallow. It smells so pretty. It's kind of like, um, oh, kind of like an herb, um, you know, hippie kind of shop where they have like a bunch of essential oils. Like before I got into doTERRA there for a while, that's like one of the places I would, would go to find um, essential oils was like those hippie shops with like, they have all the hemp clothing and everything among other things, but it smells amazing. It was only $7.99, which I didn't think was too bad for homemade soap. I just thought it was really cool. So Tanganyika Wildlife Park is where she works. Um, and then one is there with my pumpkin, but I found these at TJ Maxx. Um, it was $14.99 for two. And I was like, I have to have them <laughs> to create a little hype there in the background. So I got this two pack of um, wooden it's my theme <laughs> of these wooden stands, cake stands for warmers and things. That was TJ Maxx. And then my daughter, because <laughs> we were out there, um, I raided her wax dash. I took her some to trade with her. And then I raided her stuff and I got one of her um, Find Your Happy Showered in Flowers bars. Showered in Flowers bars. Oh, it's so pretty. So pretty. I kind of wish I hadn't taken that one out of the club, but I needed room. Um, I got a bar of watermelon mint from her. Oh, 
so good. <laughs> These were ones that I was like, I think you got either I missed it, missed using it, or they were mixes that you guys had. So she got this one in her whiff box and she's like, I hate it. <laughs> it's stinky. Um, and it's roll of the dice. Um, it is, it's bright. Like, mm. I don't even like it anymore. I When it first came out, I actually kind of liked it because I got a bunch of tree and citrus. Now it does kind of smell like someone's, a man's deodorant is kind of wearing off, but it's not, I don't know. It's <laughs> and then um, I got a bar of blue agave melon. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> um, and then she had a bar of apple butter frosting that I stole from her because I've had a couple um, suggestions for mixes. So I'm like, I got a bar of that. Oh, my nose tickles, you guys. Sorry. Someone's thinking about me. <laughs> and then I got a bar of um, pineapple mint from her. Oh, so good. So I got that. And then she still has this one in her club, Oodles of Orange. So I grabbed one of these because I knew someone mentioned a mixer. So I grabbed one of those. And she has in her club, which I don't have any more cherry almond pie. So I grabbed one of these. Oh, it is good. I knew someone asked me about a mixer there. And as I was saying in my Sensi video, um, Toffee Butter Crunch. It was in my club, and then I had a couple things where um, there was like a mix-up with my club, like two two months in a row, and then they ended up having to add them back for me, Sensi. Well, they forgot to add a Toffee Butter Crunch, and the last time I got this was in February, and then I realized, I'm like, hey, why don't I have any more Toffee Butter Crunches in my club? And I looked back and I realized that they forgot to put this one back in my club, but I don't feel like arguing with them. It was hard enough to get them to give me my stuff back. <laughs> you know, like some of it wasn't my fault. Like when the ATM ate my money and I was like, excuse me? <laughs> like what is happening? Um, like that was not my fault. And then, you know, the debit card, took money that they weren't supposed to <laughs> and I was like I need that back like now and it was going to be too late and then since he had already accidentally taken away after one day instead of three <laughs> one day taken away half my bars and I was like no the policy says three days so they added them they had a little powwow <laughs> and they added them back for me but they forgot to add toffee butter crunch I don't know the more I think about it I may call I may argue with them I don't know but I still have the emotional energy for all that so she gave me one um and then she does not like shimmers <laughs> I had two cubes of it left I mean you don't like this she's like it's just okay oh my gosh I adore this and so she's like you'll enjoy it you take it same with pink haze you guys she could care less about pink haze I'm like what planet are you from you don't like pink haze it's like pink cotton candy anyways <laughs> and then she doesn't like k tiger lily and it's one of my all-time favorites so she gave me this one i think it's amazing but she hates she's not a floral person um and then she gave Ginji a toy that her kitty cat doesn't want <laughs> okay. so there's that and look Body works. <laughs> we went shopping out there. We went to barns, like discount stores. Um, oh, wait, I have more. She also gave me um, one of her brownie batters because um, she still has this in her club. Smart kiddo. And I don't have it anymore because I was like, oh, I like hugging the mug. It's good. <laughs> this smells like brownies are cooking. So she was awesome in getting one of those. And then I had taken some bars, which she didn't want. Um, so these are the bars that she didn't want. Um, see, but you've seen those in my club before. So hmm, let's go with books and stuff. And then we'll go with Michael's and Bath and Body Works. Um, so... At Barnes and Noble, I always want to say Nobles, so sorry if I accidentally pronounce it that way. 
Um, I got this soap making kit and I told you I love my soap. There is enough stuff in here to make 25 over 25 um, soaps plus gift boxes and package packaging inspiration um, contains melt and pour um, soap bases, colorants, glycerin, um, and all that stuff. And I was just like, oh my gosh, like I need this. Like I actually want to learn how to do that. And it was like in the clearance section for like, oh, 15 bucks. I was like, okay. <laughs> so I had to have that. Um, and then this was in the clearance section. It was $15. Um, top secret recipes, um, cookbook. And I love, absolutely love Taste of Home. Is this one Taste of Home? I don't think this one is, but the next one is. Um, but like, for example, um, I won't say that one because people, um, some of these restaurants I don't know, like Bob Evans, um, vegetable beef soup, um, there's, um, the Cheesecake Factory, hello, I loved all cheesecake, have never met a cheesecake I didn't like, um, raspberry white chocolate cheesecake from the Cheesecake Factory, and like, and there's pictures with everyone, and they look pretty easy, <clears throat> California Kitchen, which I've never eaten at, oh, I'm sorry, California Pizza Kitchen, red velvet cake, <laughs> um, these are just the desserts, Outback Steakhouse, double chocolate cookies and cream mousse, love Outback Steakhouse, <laughs> um, Applebee's French Quarter Steaks, I was like, <gasps> I love stuff like this, um, Chili's, um, Steak Fajitas, amazing stuff my cat, um, the Olive Garden Eggplant Parmesan, which I don't like eggplant, but my daughter does, that's like her favorite thing ever, she, oh, every time I go to all garden she gets because she's vegetarian she always gets um eggplant parmesan so i'm like i can give her this recipe so got that recipe book and it's heavy hardback and then i also got um, taste of home for ten dollars <laughs> in the clearance section um everyday air fryer because we have an air fryer and i was like this is pretty cool 100 plus recipes for ten dollars so i was like okay um if you like fried green tomatoes, there's a recipe for that. Um, Greek breadsticks in your air fryer, <laughs> which Dale's really good at the air fryer, especially in the winter when he doesn't always want to go on the back porch and start the grill. Um, Italian bread salad with olives in your air fryer. I'm like, what? <laughs> um, Uh, like salsa black bean burgers he does chicken in there a lot um stuff pork chops in your air fryer i just thought this was really great i have yet to ever try a taste of foam recipe that i don't like um so i had to have that because i'm like if they're doing the recipes i need that <laughs> and then um this one is Taste of Home. This is Copycat Restaurant favorite Favorites. Um, Taste of Home. I'm like, oh, okay, sign me up. Um, IHOP Blueberry Pancakes. I'm like, who doesn't love IHOP pancakes? Um, these are Cinnabon's Cappuccino Cinnamon Rolls. Uh, I absolutely love Cinnabon. Um, this is Cracker Barrels Deluxe Hash Brown Casserole. Um, some places I don't know. Dunkin' Donuts coffee glazed donuts. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Starbucks white chocolate cranberry blondies. Starbucks. They had me at Starbucks. <laughs> um, Dunkin' Donuts pumpkin donut drops. Like, yum. Um, Starbucks Ice Lemon Pound Cake. <laughs> you guys, like, these are amazing recipes. And wait, I'll show you this next one here in a second. This is TGI, TGI Friday's Loaded Potato Skins. Do you see how easy that recipe is? 
Like I love Taste of Poem. Why? Because they're simple. Um, like this is Rock Bottom Restaurants Ballpark Pretzels. Like yummy. <laughs> um, Applebee's Chicken Quesadilla. Um, Sonic Tater Tater Tot Chos. Never had it, but because we don't have a Sonic up here. Um, I went to one once in Florida. <laughs> um, Panera Bread Strawberry Poppy Seed Salad. Oh my gosh. So, had to have that for $10. Um, and then my daughter is working on bullet journals. And she wanted this for Christmas. So, I got her this. Um, so, that was, that was like 22 But, um... And then that's Michael's um, in the clearance section at, um, these are all Barnes and Noble. Like this was at Barnes and Noble for $8. It's um, love and peace dot dot. Um, and I've had people ask me when I was working on these before at work because um, I'm on the phone a lot. So while you're talking and you, instead of just scribbling on a piece of paper, I do stuff like this. And this is like adult. Well, it could be teens too or kids. Um, dot to dot. Um, I absolutely love these. And I've had people ask me, like, oh my gosh, where'd you get those? I'm like, Barnes and Noble. So for $8, I'm like, yes, please. Oh, and my daughter for Christmas, too. Um, she got a book, like, how to learn how to do watercolor. And then she wanted this one and couldn't decide. I'm like, let me just buy it for you for Christmas. So um, just a watercolor workbook that she wanted. And then this was a discount bookstore. So she has a couple. See, I know which. Okay, this is half page books. Um, she has a couple bookstores near her that are like they're discounted books. Um, like this one was just a discount bookstore, Flag Avenue maybe. Let me see if I can see the name of it. It's called Bookaholic, Tyler Crossings in Wichita, Kansas. Um, so you can look it up if you're interested. But um, there's some stickers too, but I don't know what I did with them. Mm, they were in one of the books. Eh. Well, anyways, um, I got this because I have, if you don't know, you probably don't because <laughs> I don't share it, but um, Hashimoto's. Um, and in eighth grade, I had mono. And then um, from mono, I got Epstein-Barr because another girl in my class did too. There was only 10 of us in our class. <laughs> and she got it, then I got it. So once you've had <laughs> um, Epstein-Barr, which lays dormant in your body, um, it's like from the chicken pox. And I had chicken pox when I was little. Um, but once you've had that, the Epstein bar lays dormant in your system until someday it can come back as shingles. Well then come to find out it also gives you Hashimoto's. I'm like, well, that's awesome. <laughs> so my body treats my thyroid like it's a foreign entity and it's a toxic constantly. Um, it's an autoimmune disorder, but I got this thyroid 30 day reset plan. Um, hidden triggers and all that stuff, which I thought would be helpful. Um, so I got this at Bookaholic for $11.50. I thought that was awesome. So it's got recipes in it, plus like tips and tricks. Um, like all these recipes and things and then um, getting into remission, etc, etc. So, um, yeah, Hashimoto's. Um, yeah, so I thought that was going to be super helpful. So I got that. And then I got, um, they had like this whole Halloween section. So I was like, well, this sounds pretty good. So I got this there. It was $5. Um, it's called Dracul. <laughs> like Dracula, but Dracul. Um, and which I don't necessarily love scary, but I kind of love like supernatural creepy. <laughs> Um, like suspense, <laughs> but, um, I'll just really quick read you this. Cause I thought it sounded pretty cool. And my daughter was like, I want to read that too. So when you're done, I want to read that. I was like, okay. Um, and it says it is 
1868 and a 21-year-old Bram Stoker waits in a desolate tower to face an indescribable evil. Armed only with crucifixes, holy water, and a rifle, he prays to survive a single night, the longest of his life. Desperate to record what he has witnessed, Bram scribbles down the events that led him here. A sickly child, Bram spent his early days bedridden in his parents' Dublin home. They had me at Ireland. Because <laughs> I actually have family in Dublin. <laughs> um, tracing stuff back with Ancestry.com. Um, not me, my uncle. <laughs> Tended to be... Um, I'm sorry, tended to by his caretaker, a young woman named Ellen Crone. When a string of strange deaths occur in a nearby town, Bram and his sister Matilda detect a pattern of bizarre behavior by Ellen, a mystery that deepens chillingly until Ellen vanishes suddenly from their lives. Years later, Matilda returns from studying in Paris to tell Bram the news that she has seen Ellen and that the nightmare they've been through... No. And the nightmare they've thought long ended is only beginning. I was like, ooh, like this sounds kind of fun. Like Bram Stoker, didn't he write Dracula? No. Interview with a vampire. I don't know. I don't remember because. Um, but I was like, I kind of want to read this. So I was intrigued. <laughs> so I got this at that, um, what was it called? Bookaholic. And then there's another store. Um, she took us to lots of them. <laughs> um, it's called Half Price Books. And I got this cute little bag and it says, go away, I'm reading. <laughs> to put all of our books in. I got her one and me one. And then I got this elephant's book. I'm, my favorite animal in the whole world is African. Specifically African over Asian. I could tell you why, but it doesn't matter. Um, it was only elephants. Um, it was only $9.99. So, and it's her back. Birth, life, and death in the world of the giants. So, elephants are keepers of secrets. A rather big secret being that if you can see past the gray skin and the bulk and the majesty and the fear of them, then sometimes in some ways you're just like, they're just like you. I don't know. But this girl, I think, I think it's a true story. Um, cause it's got pictures. Um, but I think she works with elephants, Hannah Mumby. Um, it says since her childhood in England, Hannah Mumby has loved wildlife and elephants in particular. The first wild elephant sighting <laughs> changed her, changed the course of her life, inspiring a career devoted to studying these incredible animals and educating humanity about their behaviors in her first book. Blah, 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 blah. Anyways, um, I just, I thought that was cool. So, got that. <laughs> and then I'm running out of room. Hang in there. <laughs> We're going to reorganize. Okay. And then, at the same bookstore, okay, so, I got this Harry Potter, I've got them all, but, um, I got this one off eBay. <laughs> and the binding is broken which drives me insane. Like part of the book is falling out. I'm like, no, like I'm not okay with this. <laughs> I paid quite a bit from stupid old eBay. I was like, no, I have to replace that book. For $13.49 at that bookstore, I got the replacement and it's hardback and it's in beautiful condition. There's no broken binding. It's gorgeous. And I'm like, awesome. So I got a perfectly wonderful book. <laughs> and I will be, I don't know, donating this one because who wants that? <laughs> it's, around town they have a bunch of little um, things that people, like the, the church has one, a couple people around town. In fact, my neighbor has one with no books in it. Um, I have to ask them if that's what they're doing, but it kind of looks like a birdhouse, but you open the door and it's got books in it for people to exchange for free and stuff. So um, I'll be putting this in one of theirs. Um, and then, let's see, this is from Michael's, so we'll go to Michael's next. Um, my friend Ursula, um, she, I know I've told this in other videos, but if you're new, 
um, she used to do make origami paper cranes and she used to do all kinds of stuff and give them away to people all the time. And um, her family, when she passed away, they gave me her paper um, and she never got around to teaching me. So I sat for several hours on YouTube and taught myself um, how to make origami paper cranes. And so um, to carry on what she did, because we were supposed to make a bunch of them and give them around to places. Um, so I've got some really pretty paper ones. Um, like really pretty paper. I don't know. Yeah. And these are the perfect size for, I mean, I can cut regular scrap, scrap of paper, but these are perfect. Um, so I got this book, and this was $12.95, and then I got this one, which also, if I forget, and sometimes I do if I don't make them very often, it's got the instructions on how to make them, which are hard to follow. YouTube is better. But, and I got this little book, and this has, like, the, the Asian, um, oriental, um, actual patterns on some of them which I thought were so pretty, especially those fall leaves. Um, <laughs> some of them are kind of childish, but, and then like I'll make these and leave them around town. Like I've left them in the parking garage, um, the library and the kids section. Um, I just, I leave them places. So got those. Um, and so like the anniversary of the day that she passed away was October 28th. Um, so I figured this will give me something to work on and make me feel like I'm carrying on her memory. Um, and then at Michael's, I found they had like 40%, 40 to 65% off Halloween stuff. So um, I got this um, instead of this doily that I have here, um, which I spilled wax on it. I have to iron it and get it off. Hopefully it comes off as red. I'm like, all the things. Um, I got this Halloween one, so I figure I can put this one out if I want to clear up all my pumpkins. Um, I figure I can put this one out and then try to fix that one. I got that. That was cheap. Um, and I got this cute, oh, another fun fact about me, um, is I really, really, really love, um, nutcrackers. <laughs> I got a Halloween skelly nutcracker. Um, look how cute he is. And he was on clearance. I'm like, I have to have a Mr. Bones. <laughs> and he's a nutcracker. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Um, this was kind of breaking off, which is probably why nobody wanted him. But I have a hot glue gun. I'm just going to hot glue uh, his little Halloween sign. Isn't he cute? Just a cute little Mr. Bones. So I got him. And we didn't make it to Target, but I really wanted to find like a, um, on clearance, um, like full size Mr. Bones to sit on my porch because I really love skillies. <laughs> um, so I got that stuff and then I got more. <laughs> um, I mean, it's hard to pass up cute sales. Look for my mantle. I may have to take my pumpkin one down until after Halloween. <laughs> I put this guy up. Look, a little ghosts for my living room mantle. And it was like 40% um, off too. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so cute. And it goes with my color scheme. They're just these cute little like, ghosts. <laughs> it's like the cutest thing ever. So I had that. And these are all discounted. I just, I couldn't believe it. So um, I got this cute little spider, which in real life I absolutely hate hate spiders. I think I would jump out of a moving car I hate spiders because I've been bitten by a poisonous by a spider. But I found I like fake ones. But um yeah this cute cookie cutter I'm like I have to have that. <laughs> so I got that. And then I got these um like hair things um like bobby pins with cute little spiders. <laughs> and then um, I got these treat bags. I was thinking maybe I might make the girls at work some cookies, like some spider cookies, and put them in these cute little Halloween bags. There's only like eight of us. <laughs> so, um, and then um, these cute stickers, like the cute little bat. 
I'm like, oh my gosh, she's so cute. And then the, the spider, I'm like that's so cool. Even if I put them like in a scrapbook or something, I just, I had to have them because they were like discount. <laughs> and same with these. Um, these are like spiders in kind of like neon green webs. Um, these are confetti, which I thought this would be fun to put in people's um, happy mail sometime or something. They are on current. I don't know if you can see like the cute little spiders and webs. Like, oh my gosh, those are so cute. Um, so I thought that was really fun. And then this pumpkin. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's my colors. <laughs> the, the navy blue is my living room. Had to have that. <laughs> so I got that. And then um, I got some stuff to Zentangle. If you don't know what Zentangle is, go look it up because it's so much fun. Um, so I got this cute little book and ruler and Zentangle pens. Um, so it's just like a little hobby of mine. Um, I have workbooks and stuff. Another thing I can sit at work and do while I'm on the phone. Because, <laughs> you know, you just talk and talk and talk. So, um, so that's Michael's. And then, last but not least... Bath of Body Works. Um, so I went in there to find um, either the green, because that would match my colors, or um, orange, because I do have some orange in there. Um, I have some orange scattered around, because you don't throw away pumpkins, <laughs> whether they're orange or not. I'm just switching over to this colors. Um, but I'll have little spaces where I have orange ones too. Because I love my orange pumpkin scentsy warmers. Like, anyways. Um, so they have, like, this. I, if you watch, like, Melanie, uh, Mr. Kong's mom, she does, like, a lot of bath and body works kind of hauls, too. Ashley. Um, but I, I, I know Mr. Kong's mom, <laughs> Melanie. Um, I've seen her do. It's, like, this pumpkin. It's, like, a velvet pumpkin. And it holds big three-wick candles in it. So they did have the orange ones. Um... But they weren't on clearance like I thought they would be, so I'm just kind of waiting till maybe they go on clearance. <laughs> um, so I didn't pick those up, but um, they did have five for twenty-five for the um, foamy hand soaps. You guys, it's been a long time since I shopped at Bath and Body Works. <laughs> Um, just because the one at our mall, the closest mall is like 45 minutes away and it's just not something I just go do all the time. So a lot of people talk about some of these scents and I have no idea what they're talking about. <laughs> one being Marshmallow Fireside and I smelled this. It's so good. Um, so I got two Marshmallow Fireside because this is amazing in foaming hand soap. I got a um, toasted vanilla chai, which, which smells amazing. Oh, scent notes. Wait. Yay. I freaking love that Bath and Body Works does that. Um, so with Bath and Body Works, um, for Marshmallow Fireside, it's toasted, mar sorry, because my eyes are getting old. <laughs> um, toasted marshmallow, smoldering woods, and fire roasted vanilla. My favorite Bath & Body Works scent ever is um, Warm Vanilla Sugar, like obsessed. But I think Marshmallow Fireside might be my favorite too. Um, yeah. And then um, Toasted Vanilla Chai is Whipped Vanilla, Spun Sugar, and Winter Spice. Uh, and then, which I have so many scentsy hand soaps, I'm like, what am I doing? Um, but I couldn't resist. And then this one is Pumpkin... No, marshmallow pumpkin latte. And the scent, note, scent notes are creamy pumpkin, toasted marshmallow, and warm praline. And the last one is magic star, stardust magic, um, which are celestial caramel swirl, mystical vanilla, and secret musk. I'm like, can you tell I like vanilla and caramel and pumpkin? <laughs> marshmallow. And I got two candles, you guys. I've never, ever, ever, ever 
melted a Bath and Body Works candle. And I know Brandy from Brandy's Bars and Bricks, Ashley P, Mr. Kong's mom, I, um, Drew Yock. Um, I see a lot of people do, um, even like um, Lexi from Two Quick Wicks. Um, I, I mean, I watch a lot of people do Bath and Body Works candles and I'm like, I'm not gonna travel all the way 45 minutes to go. But we happen to be at one in Kansas and I was like, well, we found one. <laughs> and I was like, I'm gonna buy a couple candles. They were $10 off. So, drum roll please, I bought two. <laughs> And I can't wait to melt them and see if they live up to the hype. Because so far, I'm disappointed with Goose Creek. But um, they're just okay. Um, so I just want to see if these are everything everybody raves about. So the first one that I got, I cannot read that backwards. Peppermint Sugar Cookie. And look at the gorgeous top. This smells amazing. It smells like a cookie and it smells like mint. Like a mint buttercream. I'm like, wow. Um, I love that they put the scent notes on these. This is crushed peppermint, vanilla extract, and I, mm, I do smell that. Um, creamy butter, soft sugar cookies um, made with natural essential oils. You guys, have you ever had butter mints? Um, you make them with cream cheese and um, peppermint extract. They're amazing. And sugar. Um, if you've ever had them, that's what this smells like. Um, so amazing. I'm like, wow, I have to have this. So I got this and look at the, how adorable that packaging is. And then I couldn't remember what Melanie, Mr. Kong's mom says. And I think Ashley's talked about it too, about the wicks. And I was like, I don't know if I have good wicks, bad wicks. I don't know. I don't remember. But I think you don't want them to be too close to the side and these looked okay. <laughs> I hope I did okay. And then drum roll, please. <laughs> the other one that I got. Marshmallow Fireside. I am so excited. Um, This is Toasted Marshmallow Smoldering Woods Fire Roasted Vanilla Crystallized Amber. This smells so yummy. And now I know what everybody talks about. And um, these wicks looked okay. They didn't look like they were too far from the edge. I hope I did okay, because I don't know. I just buy candles. I don't know what I'm doing with the wicks. I almost feel like, like the side is pulled away a little bit there, but look at that packaging. So I am super excited to try melting um, Bath and Body Works candles. Never, ever, ever in my whole life have I done that. So I got two. And I was going to get more and I was like, okay, don't be crazy because I don't even know if I'm going to like these. So let's melt just two that um, I'm most excited about because I've heard people talk about and then we'll go from there. <laughs> so that's um, my shopping haul from Wichita, Kansas that multiple stores and I went hoping to find some Christmas stuff and clearance um, Halloween stuff and I did and then um, just fun things that I'm like, oh, I know where I got these socks. Tanganyika Wildlife Park. <laughs> I got the socks and I got um, the sassafras soap. <laughs> um, and a shirt, long sleeve shirt, but nobody cares about clothes. <laughs> so, um, well, at least I think. But um, yeah, so I found amazing things and I thought I would share. So just for fun, because I love to see shopping hauls and see what people get. And um, I don't know. So that's some of the fun stuff that I found and if you have some of these stores near you um five for 25 ten dollars off um tj maxx always has amazing sales ross I'm like I like ross that was fun um and just I, I love seeing what tj maxx is coming out with um so I know I'll be looking there a few more times for that kind of theme yeah so Thanks so much, you guys. Um, hope that was fun, and we'll see you soon. Bye.